just like we had an inverse standard normal command, which could take a percentage or a probability and convert it to a z-score, we have an inverse normal command, which can take a percentage or probability and convert it to the x value in the given situation. If we want to find x for a given percentage or probability, to the left on a normal distribution, with mean, mu, and standard deviation sigma we can use the inverse normal command on Excel, which is norm equals norm dot inv for inverse, p, which is the proportion or probability to the left, comma mu, comma sigma, where p is the probability to the left. Let's take a look at what this looks like on Excel to work some examples. We've been working with these final exam test scores that were normally distributed with a mean of 78 and a standard deviation of 6. We want to find the score that has 70% of students below it. So if we were to draw a picture of this situation, the mean in the middle is 78. And we want to put an area or a probability of 0.7, that's more than half. 0.7 below that x value. So there's 0.70 area off to the left. Now, that's a nice one because Excel already does areas to the left. So I can say equals norm dot inv for inverse because we already have the probability. We're looking for the x value. The probability is 0.70. The mean is 78. And the standard deviation is 6. Hitting Enter tells us that x, a score of 81.14, will have 70% of students below a score of 81. Now, if we want to find a score with 5% of students above it, to identify those top 5% of students, we have our mean at 78 on our picture. And we want 5% above it. So we just want that little 5%, 0.05 above it. The problem is the Excel command is only interested in areas to the left. And so we need to first identify how much area is in that left side and then use the Excel command on that value. Well, we know that the entire curve has 1.0 underneath it because it's a probability distribution. So we'll subtract off the 0.05 on the right side, and that's going to give us 0.95. So the area to the left this time is 0.95. And so that's what we'll use with our inverse normal command. Equals norm dot inv for inverse, because we know the probability is 0 0.095. The mean is 78, and the standard deviation is 6. Putting that in parentheses, separated by commas. And when we hit Enter, we find that the x score that puts 5% of students above it is 87.87. 5% of students scored better than 87.87% on this exam. What if we want the middle 80% of students? So we still know that 78 is the mean score, but we want the range of scores for students that scored kind of around that middle 80%. So middle 80%. We want to know what are those two values. I'll call them x1 and x2, where 80% of students are between them. Well, we're going to have to find those two values separately if we're doing this on a regular normal command. So first, we know that 80% is in the middle. And if we take that 1 minus 80%, that leaves 0.20% on the outside. Because there's two tails, 
that 20% is split evenly on both sides. So we have 10% on the left and 10% on the right. Since the normal inverse command is interested in areas to the left, first we're going to do it with that 10% value. So to get that x1, we want to equals norm dot inverse probability of 0 0.10, comma, the mean is 78, comma, the standard deviation is 6. And we find out that first value, that x1, is equal to 70.31. For the next value, though, we need the area that goes from that x2 all the way down to the end. Notice that counts the 80% and the 10% on our picture. So together, we're actually talking about 0.90 area to the left. So we'll type in equals norm dot inverse, open a parentheses. And this time, we want a 90% area to the left, 0.90, where the mean is 78 and the standard deviation is 6. Hitting Enter, that tells me my x2 is 85.69 when we round. And so 80% of students, the middle 80% of students, are falling between a test score of 70.31 and 85.69. When we know the probability, we know the area to the left, we can use the inverse normal command on Excel to find the x value that gives those areas, that gives those probabilities.